Hello all, my name is Keo. So now in this tutorial we are going to model a PUBG sniper gun in Autodesk 3ds Max. So let's get started. So as you can see we have a reference of this you know a sniper rifle. So we are going to model and texture it in Autodesk 3ds Max. So let's get started. So very first of all what we are going to do here is we are going to take a reference so let's check it's like 1920 by 1080 yeah, the pixels so let's open 3ds max let's go into the front view and draw a plane over here so let's take a reference over here oh yes. so now just resize it just resize it so resize this reference and make it small over here so push this up so go into press M on your keyboard go into material and let's apply this texture over here so we do have this reference over here press F3 so as you can see over here so you can see the reference press shift T on your keyboard asset tracking you can glo go into global settings and increase its resolution over here and click ok that's it ok so now very first of all go into this hierarchy link info and lock this so now let's get started so very first of all what we'll do over here is uh, we'll model this whole rifle in different different parts so let's take a cylinder over here so as it is a PUBG rifle so go into this let's go into the angle snap toggle and set the angle as 90 degree and rotate it reduce the height segments press alt x on your keyboard to make it look more transparent and you can increase the sides if you want to increase the sides you can increase the sides over here and in reduce the height over here right click convert to editable poly select this polygon and click on the extrude option and push this over here and click ok so let's we are going to follow the reference over here so go on extruding this part over here so just keep this still over here and click ok so now the next part over here is just push this out as you can see over here uh, there is one more part over here which is created so what we are going to do is we are going to create a box over here take a box over here so use this box over here drag it over here press alt x and add some loops into it so we are going to add some loops over here so you just shifted this up so you can push this over here like this so and add some loops over here like go onto this convert to editable poly and you can go into this swift loop so add some loops over here so as you can see you can switch onto this view and you can just scale a bit inside you can scale this a bit inside to make it look in that particular way now the next step is just go on extruding this part over here slowly just go on extruding it again extrude it so we are using some kind of loops over here again go on extruding this so as you go on extruding it make sure you are 
pushing the bottom vertices a bit down and the top vertices a bit up so you can just adjust in this manner accordingly so you don't need to get some more curves so we are just basically blocking it right now so just push this up push this up push this down so as you can see so first let's save this file so I'll save this file over here I'll create a folder so gun underscore one and your underscore one and save your file so again use this again click on the extrude option so push this down as you can see the reference is a bit tilted not much a bit so you can manage it accordingly so go on pushing this in the same manner select the polygon again extrude shift this over here go on to the vertices like this and keep it till here so now after this step what we are going to do is we can select this part and you can use the bevel option if you want to use the bevel option a bit you can use the bevel option and reduce this like this and click ok so bevel would be from the top not from the bottom so you can uh, adjust it accordingly now you can select it again use the extrude option so you can see that you get some kind of a shape over here on to the top so just go on doing it perfectly as you can see we, we are doing it like this so don't change the view you can follow the reference accordingly so go on following the reference so you can just push this up select this you can push this down again select this polygons again go into the extrude option and you can push this down so now again you can use the bevel option so you have a bevel option you can now this time you can push this down click ok and the rest of the part as it is so as you can see over here so we have shifted this part a bit down again use the extrude option use this you can push this over here so select the polygon again use this extrude option so now you are going to the follow option over here so follow the path you can say the follow the reference and accordingly you can just extrude it so just select it go again vertices so now over here what you can do is you can just rotate it so you can rotate it or you can just select this and you can rotate it so you can get a better stuff select it again give the extrude option push this over here select this push this over here So go on the extrude option, select this over here and select this over here. Again select it, click on the extrude option, 
select this push this over here push this over here and rotate it you can just rotate it select it again you can use the extrude option so now you can just push this over here and this you can push it over here you can push this like this and this you can push it like this so select again again use the extrude option you can go on managing this according to the shape of it so adjust it accordingly so we are just blocking it right now we are not going to detail it we are just blocking it we'll detail it afterwards so let's save this file again so now to this changes extrude push this push this up and push this down like this let's go on following the reference accordingly and you can push this down so again select it again click on the extrude option push this like this and push it over so now if you want to give a bit of more smoothness you can just use a swift loop option over here a bit and you can just press R you can go into the edge you can press R and you can just scale it from here so you can get a bit of you know depth over here also what you can do is you can add one more loop over here you can add a loop over here so if you want something kind of stuff it should come up from the top or you want to scale it from the center you can do a bit so you can just you know you can subtract this part and you can scale it so wherever if you want to scale it manually from one side you can do that or you have option over here you can just select this and you can scale it like this so whatever whatever better way you like you can do it you can push this up you can push this up a bit you can select this all and you can push this oops you can select and you can push it out that's it so that's it you can do in this way you can push it down like this okay so so let's select this all And just give a color to it so, so that's part we have done okay so we'll continue the rest of the part in the next tutorial thanks for watching this tutorial